Hello everybody and welcome to Just Football as I'm going to be talking about the latest transfer news in the DSTV Premiership and in all of Africa now. I'm going to be talking about the likes of Tabo Tele as interest in the DSTV Premiership, the FIFA ban for Zimbabwe and Zamalek and also an interesting story on Alano Pirates chasing a winger and also Lila K opening up on the situation between him and Mamelodi Sundowns. Now if you're new on Just Football, kindly click on the subscribe button as we upload similar content every week. Now let's get on with the video. First I want to talk about the FIFA transfer bands and FIFA bands in general. Now I want to talk about Zamalek. Zamalek is the latest African club to be handed a transfer ban by FIFA with immediate effect. Now the Egyptian, the Egyptian club is banned indefinitely until they pay Sporting Lisbon of Portugal 28 million rands for the transfer of Shigabala which was made in 2015. Now this is it, the latest on Zamalek. They are the latest team to be banned by FIFA. Now, there's not going to be any transfers made by Zamalek in this transfer window. We know their season just ended, so it means Zamalek will be struggling in the coming few seasons. Again, Zimbabwe's FIFA ban has been lifted. Now, the Zimbabwe national team can now uh, start playing competitive matches effective immediately. Now, the Zimbabwe national team will also be a part of the CAF 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers draw, which will take part tomorrow on Wednesday. Next, I want to talk about an interesting story on Lyle Lakay. Now, Lyle Lakay has been talking to journalists and these are the few quotes that we got. Now, Lyle Lakay has admitted that he is still under contract with Mamelodi Sundowns and he is not a free agent, even though he is seemingly not in the club's plans. Now, this is interesting because we have seen many reports, not one, not two, not even three reports on Lyle Lakay being released by Mamelodi Sundowns. So, apparently, the player is saying he is still under contract and at Mamelodi Sundowns. Now the left back says he will report back to the club, which is Mamelodi Sundowns, as soon as he is done with the Bafana Bafana's Kwasafa Cup campaign that is currently ongoing in Dublin. What is going on? I wonder what is going on now. A few more quotes. I'm going to react to this at the end. Like a, having played in six league matches for Sundowns last season, was loaned to Cape Town City before the transfer window was closed, which came to even his own surprise after he was named the PSL Defender of the Season in the 2021-2022 season, where he featured for, in 41 matches in all competitions for Mamelodi Sundowns. He has now returned to Tlorkop and insisted he is still under contract with Sundowns, despite some saying he is a free agent. At the moment, I am still contracted to Sundowns. I have seen rumors that I'm a free agent, but I'm not. This is coming from the mouth of Lyle Lakay himself. Another uh, uh, quote from Lakay saying, even though I'm not in their plans, I'm still contracted. I still have to report back. I still have to respect the club and I will have to wait for them to let me know what is happening. Now, this is a very interesting story. Uh, the last quote from Lakay before I react on this, it was difficult, but at the end of the day, some of the things are out of your hands. And when they are out of your hands, nothing you can do. Wow. I thought to my, I, I've reported on this as well, that Lila K was a free agent, but apparently Lila K, he is not a free agent. He's still contracted to Mamelodi Sundowns. He's still getting paid by Mamelodi Sundowns. This is coming in, coming in from the horse's mouth. Lila K is insisting that he is still under contract at Mamelodi Sundowns. Now tell me what you think about this. This is a big story because Lila K, he has been linked with a move to Supersport United. Now that I uh, still think can happen because we know uh, there's history between Lila K, Supersport United and also their head coach. Uh, now, but I thought Lila K was a free agent. I definitely thought, I'm sure most of you thought he was a free agent, but apparently he's still under contract at Mamelodi Sundowns. That contract has not been cancelled. So we will see what happens with the situation of Lila K, but that is update. I'm surprised and I'm baffled by this. I don't even know what to say on the situation of Lila K. Now just give me your thoughts on the situation. The next player I want to talk about is Tabo Tele. Now, Tabo Tele, we know he's currently with the Bafana Bafana Reserve Squad that is taking part in the Kosava Cup. Now, Tabo Tele has been locked, looked at by several DSTV Premiership clubs as they hope 
to land the Bafana Bafana midfielder. Now Tabakele currently plays his football in Poland top league side Radomiak Radom where he has been playing for the last two seasons. Now it has been reported that DSTV Premiership side can compete with what Tele is currently earning in Poland which is very interesting. Having previously been linked with a move to Kaiser Chiefs, the midfielder is now linked with a move to Amazulu and Stellenbosch FC with Orlando Pirates also named as a possible as a possible suitor. Now at the moment it looks like Stellenbosch FC are the team with a firm interest in the player having lost most of their players in this transfer window. Now Tabotele we know Tabotele has previously talked about his interest um, about joining the DSTV Premiership. Now it looks like it may happen though with Stellenbosch FC. It looks like Kaiser Chiefs are not going to be interested in Tabotele in this transfer window. At least we know they've been previously linked with him but at the moment Kaiser Chiefs are not looking for a midfielder from what I understand. So Tabotele may end up at Stellenbosch FC according to the report which was which came in earlier today from hashtag uh, unplayable. So that is it on the situation of Tabot Gale. Tell me what you think. Do you think Tabot Gale can end up at Stellenbosch FC or do you think you end up at Ronald Pirates who are also mentioned uh, to be interested in the player? Next, I want to talk about Collins Makhaka who is close to joining Stellenbosch FC after being released by Orlando Pirates. Now, the 27-year-old has been at Orlando Pirates for the past three seasons, having joined from Baroka FC in 2020. Having failed to, pray, to impress under numerous coaches, Orlando Pirates decided to release Collins Mahaka as he was surplus to requirements at, Soweit, at the Soweto Giants. Now, Mahaka only made 18 appearances at Orlando Pirates in the three seasons he was a player there. Now, Mahaka is very close to joining Stellenbosch FC, according to the report. Now, Stellenbosch FC, we know they are looking for reinforcements because most of their players have moved away from the team in this transfer window. I think Stellenbosch FC, they have sold most players uh, compared to their DSTV Premiership uh, opponents or other clubs in the DSTV Premiership. The Lombos FC have seen a lot of outgoings, but they have made a lot of money for themselves. Now they are in the market. They are looking for a lot of players. A lot of players have been linked with Telembush FC with good reason. They are looking for reinforcement. Now still at Orlando Pirates. While the rest of the Orlando Pirates squad are in Spain, Gomez Pepra is one of the players who was left behind. Now Pepra is still in Ghana. As it is clear, Jose Rivero will not use him in his squad in the present or even in the future. Now, there are reports of an interest in Kwame Pepra, but nothing solid as of yet, and no team has made their interest official to Orlando Paris. Now, there's a huge interest for Pepra from Ghanaian teams, but at the moment, none of those Ghanaian teams are willing to pay a transfer fee for Kwame Pebra. Now they are hoping Orlando Pirates will release the player. So they are hoping to get him for free, which I think is fair because Orlando Pirates surely will not be using Kwame Pebra. It is over between Orlando Pirates and Kwame Pebra. We're just awaiting an official statement from the club that player did not even bother to come back for pre-season. He did not even report for pre-season because he knows. He was told last season by Jose Rivero that he is not going to be a part of his squad. He is not in, in Jose Rivero's plans for the present or for the future. Now, it makes sense why Kwame Pepra has decided to remain behind. Now, still at Orlando Pirates, Uganda player of the season and Vapors SC captain Milton Carissa has, attra has attra attracted interest from Orlando Pirates, Supersport United and Young Africans. Now, Orlando Pirates and Supersport United have reportedly inquired on the winger, but he is still on holidays, so Vipers SC will wait for him to return so a decision can be taken. Even though Young Africans are also interested in Milton Carissa, they may be out of the race because of their potential transfer ban by FIFA. Now, the 27-year-old Uganda is Uganda's most impressive player and he has won four awards this season which included player of the season MVP, coaches player of the season and most assists of the season. Now Vipas SC would be willing to make a deal for the in-demand winger as talks for a new contract have been slow and the player only has one year left on his contract. Now Orlando Pirates there, they are looking at another winger and that is uh, Vipas SC winger. Uh, it's Milton Carissa. About Milton Carissa, I don't know much about Milton Carissa, but uh, it is reportedly I've made uh, some investigations or some research on him last night. He is just is going to be turning 28 this in July, and then I think he's been he's a very interesting player. He's a good winger, but I think at Orlando Pirates they have enough enough wingers. So this report may be uh, false, but I'm not 
saying it is false, but it may be. I don't think Orlando Pirates are really interested in this player. This is just paper talk. But Supersport United may as well be interested in him because they do need reinforcements. But as for Orlando Pirates, I think they have enough. We've seen them loading out some good wingers. So why would they do that if they want a winger? So I don't think it is um, there is any credibility in this report at the moment. Moving on, I want to talk about Semi Siabi from Mamelodi Sundowns. Now, Mamelodi Sundowns are looking to loan out Semi Siabi. Now, the club will listen to offers for the player who spent the 2023-2023 season on loan at Sukukune United. Now, Sundowns would prefer to sell Semi Siabi, but will loan him out if no permanent offers come in. Wow, this is interesting. Like, Semi Siabi has been... Uh, up and down at Mamelodi Sundowns. He has been out on loan too many times, I think, right now. Tiba United, Bulugwani City and Solo FC have shown interest in the player, but Mamelodi Sundowns will have a final say on where the player will spend the 2023-2024 season. Now, the 28-year-old is not in Rwanda Mugwana's plans for the present or the future. No, the offers on the table are loan offers currently. Now, CRB has previously had loan spells at Chiba United and Solo FC in previous seasons, which may be part of the reason why the teams are linked with him. Now, I don't understand what is happening. Well, my listeners have a lot of players who they are not using. I think they should let them go. Like with this, a player like Sammy CRB, he's 28 now. He has been a lot at um, my listeners for some time now, and he has been an. Uh, numerous loans it's not working out now they already know that semi siabi is not going to be a part of their future so i don't understand they have to let him go again still at mamelodi announced grant makeman and specially mkize are the midfielders whom mamelodi announced have to give the green light to secure permanent moves away from the club also these two looks like they are out at mamelodi announced makeman has spent the 2020 season on loan with their arch rivals supersport united while mkize turned out for chiba united now this is a problem at mamelodi announced i think because it has come to a point where they have too many senior players who expect to play first team football and then they are not in the plans of the coach i think all these players deserve moves away like we have the situation of like hey, that i talked about earlier we have situations of mariaman we have situation too many situations at mamelodi sundowns they should be letting these players go because at the moment it is not working they are not in the plan in the coach's plans so they need to let these players go so they can build build their careers in other teams because Basically, they're just killing talent. Now, these players, too many good players I mentioned in this video uh, with regards to Mamelodi Sundowns who are, like, they don't know what the future holds for them because they are currently under contract at Mamelodi Sundowns, but they are not playing any football. They are always sent out on loans. They come back. They are sent out on loan again. Now, this has to stop. I think this has to stop. Mamelodi Sundowns have to let them go. Now, now, I want to close off today's video again by congratulating Pesit Dao. Pesit Dao has done well for himself in the Egyptian Giants al Ahly. He managed to grab his first Premier League uh, winner's medal uh, last night with al Ahly in Egypt. Now, this is very good news for Pesit Dao. We know Pesit Dao has been linked with a move to Benley. I made a separate video though on Pesit Dao. If you want to know more on what is happening on the latest on the situation of Pesit Dao, you can go and watch that video. I'm closing off with this of this with the situation of Pesit Dao today now. Give me your thoughts on the players that I mentioned in this video. I mentioned a lot of players like Laila K, Tabotele, Mark Makeman and so forth, even Pesit Dao right now. Now give me your thoughts and also leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're a new visitor on Just Football.